Hi everyone. In this session, we will see about the introductory concepts in open source technology. Open source refers to a program in which the source code is available to the public for use. They can modify from its original design free of cost. Open source code is typically created as the collaborative effort in which programmers improve upon the code and share the changes within the community. Open source technology is defined as the production and development philosophy of allowing the end users and developers not only to see the source code of the software but also to modify it as well. The most familiar example of open source technology is Linux operating system. Now we will see about open source software. Open source software is a software which can be used without paying any money and the original source code can be used to create some derivative works and the advanced users can modify it to work better. Open source software is defined as the software distributed under licensed agreement which allows the source code to be shared, copied, modified and redistributed by other users or organizations. Some of the examples of open source software are Linux, Blender, OpenOffice, KOffice and so on. Now we will see what is open source initiative. Open source initiative is a standard organization which provides certification to the open source technology. It indicates that the source code of a computer program is made available free of charge to the general public. Open source software must comply with the following criteria which are set by the open source initiative. The criteria that are formed by open source initiative are redistribute the software without any restriction. We can access the source code. We can modify the source code with condition that we have to redistribute it. Distribute the modified version of the software. Coming to the history, how the open source software has been evolved. In early 1970s, the proprietary software did not allow the users to redistribute it or to modify it or to access its source code. Open source software was developed because of this reason. In 1980s, open source was started by Richard Stallman who developed the general public license model. It holds that software should be freely modifiable with the condition that improvements made to the software must be put back in the open source community. The advantages of open source software are its lower cost. Open source software usually does not require a licensing fee. Its lower cost is generally one of the key reasons why small business adopt this open source. We have to consider the total cost of the ownership when considering the open source software. Coming to the next advantage, it's about flexibility. Programmer can take a standard software package and modify it to better so that it suits the business needs. We can hire a programmer to add a particular function to open source software. Next, we come to the point of reliability and quality. When we look at improved quality, we have to compare the product themselves. 
it is impossible to say that open source software is better than proprietary software when we speak about reliability and quality. However, mature open source software is generally viewed to be of good quality and reliability. If the business is not familiar with open source software, then we have to review some of the more mature products that are available in the market. Next, we come with availability of external support. External technical support is available for many open source software packages. Some manufacturers offer support contracts and there are service providers who install, configure and maintain an open source software system. Many open source products also have active online community support that may be able to answer the questions through online blogs. Now we will see some of the differences between open source software and proprietary software. Open source software is purchased with the source code whereas proprietary software is purchased without the source code. Users can modify the software in open source whereas in proprietary users cannot modify the software. Open source software is available free of cost but when we use proprietary software we have to pay for using it. Open source software can be installed freely but the proprietary software requires a license. No one is responsible for giving support in open source software but when we buy a proprietary software if any problem occurs we get an extensive support from the vendor. Now we will see why the open source software become more familiar nowadays. Some of the qualities that the open software possess are easy to learn since it is available free of cost, it is available open, we are able to learn the new technologies we can develop the derived works, we are able to rectify the errors in the source code, we are able to build up our own application. For example, Moodle is a place for the students to learn, communicate and collaborate and Moodle is an open source. Using open source, we can publish in worldwide. For example, WordPress is an open source blog which can also be used for content management. WordPress is a publishing application. Open source is a collaborative work. For example, Mahara is an open source e-portfolio that includes blogging and social networking. Some of the examples of open source software are Linux, Firefox, Ubuntu, WordPress, Java, PHP, Blender, MySQL and so on. Depending upon the type of application, there are many open source software that are available and we can use these open source software for building our application. Thank you for listening.